Hello everyone. So, good morning. Good morning from Telcheri, Kerala. And uh, this is a lovely place. A lot of greenery, a lot of birds. Around. So, in case you hear any sounds, those are sounds of uh, nature. And hope you all have the link. We'll start in another couple of minutes. Right now, it's 6.27. So, if you have your watch, if you have a Garmin watch, you can use strength training. And uh, we will then start the session in a couple of minutes. Get down. Can shake your hands. You posted it. You posted, then I'll also post it to the tribe. Just trying to. Relax. Hmm? <laughs> it's in Kerala. So, show me. You sent it to... Okay. So, I'll just try to see if I can send it to my people out here. Okay, guys. Good morning, everyone. Uh, firstly, thank to, thanks to AFSF organizers for giving me this opportunity to do this live session for all of you all. My name is Sunil Menon and I'm an Ironman certified coach from Hyderabad and I coach people for triathlons, marathons, ultra marathons. So today what we are going to do is something which we've not done before, at least I've not done before. It is basically primal movements. And we're going to do it with sounds. Since we are around nature, we're surrounded by trees and birds around. Let's also join them in creating some noise. And we should have fun. So this session is for all of y'all who really want to bring out the animal instincts out of y'all. So let's work out together and have some fun. Now enough of talking. So let's start the session in three, two, one. Now we want to start off with African Kapal Bhati. So Africans also do Kapal Bhati. They are going to raise your heel up and raise your hand up along with it. And forceful exhalation. You are going to exhale forcefully. Okay. And focus on only nasal exhalation. Inhale. And exhalation and exhalation should happen only through your nose. So let's start in three, two, one. Let's do this. Raise your heel and exhale forcefully.
Now let's increase the pace. Hop. Now make it faster. Take your hands. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't break. Don't let. Turn left. Turn left. Turn left. Faster, faster. Faster, faster. Relax. Close your eyes. Feel your heartbeat. Relax your mind. Slow down your breath. Yeah, you're getting some additional instructions from the birds. Please understand that. Okay guys, so now let's do arm circles. Ready? Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now reverse. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Lovely. Now some chest openers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Lovely. Shake your hands. Shake your legs. Now, arm raises. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Lovely, guys. Now, hands on your thighs. Shoulder rotations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, reverse. 1, 2, 3, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Lovely, guys. Shake your hands, shake your legs, chin to your chest. Slowly right, slowly left, 
slowly right slowly left slowly right slowly left slowly right slowly left slowly right slowly left come back to the center look down take your left hand and try to stretch the back of your neck look up and push stretch the front of your neck look down stretch look up stretch look down stretch look up stretch look down stretch look up stretch one more look down stretch look up stretch lovely guys now spread your legs wide open okay now raise your hand as you inhale and as you exhale touch the palm of your hand on the yoga mat and push yourself down the further you go the better it is lovely guys if you're not able to touch push your upper body and swing it stay in this position for a few seconds and slowly up again inhale and exhale Lovely, this is superb. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now, turn to your right and try to touch your forehead to your right knee without bending your knee. Pull your upper body closer to your right knee. And feel that stretch. Inhale, push yourself back and now turn towards your left and try to touch your forehead to your left knee. Inhale, push yourself back, touch your forehead to your right knee. Inhale, push yourself back and towards your left. These stretches are very important before you do any workout. Push yourself back again. Turn towards your right side. One more time, last time. And stretch. Again, push yourself back and turn towards your left. And jump. Lovely, guys. Shake your hands, shake your legs. Okay, now let's stretch our quad muscles. Hold your left leg, hold it with both your hands and pull it back. Keep pulling it back till you feel the stretch. This should be good. Now, right leg, pull, hold, and stretch. Again, left leg, pull, hold, and stretch. Right leg, hold, hold, and stretch it out. This feels great. Jog for a few seconds. Always make sure you're hydrating yourself. Grab a sip of water.
jog. Now we'll do 10 Hindu push-ups to make sure that we, our body is warmed up. Okay, and then 15 squats. Ready? Let's do that. Great. Three, two, one, start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the last one, 10. Lovely guys. Now hold this position for a few seconds. And then come on to the mountain pose. Try to touch the palm of your feet on the yoga mat. Push yourself back. Feel that stretch. Walk for a few seconds. Yes, the stretching is very, very important. Lovely. Wow. It's great. Now let's test our legs. Let's do simple 15 squats. Hands at the back. And go down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Lovely guys. Wow. We are all set. <clears throat> okay. So we are first going to start off with some simple movements and then we'll try to build on to it okay so let's start first close your hands like this lock your hands and try to rotate it clockwise here make a clockwise movement lovely anti-clockwise we are going to use a lot of our wrist strength today because these are all primal movements. Okay, now try to make a sword fight. Okay, shake your hand, shake your wrist. Okay, now be on all fours. Make sure that your palm is right under your shoulder. Your knee is right under your hips. This should be the distance. Okay. Now we are going to do shoulder squeezes. Okay. Just going to move your shoulder blades up and down. Your elbow is straight. Do not bend your elbows. Just this moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lovely. Now, you're going to do a spine movement. Okay. As we inhale, arch and look up. As you exhale, round your spine. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Inhale, arch, exhale, Round. Inhale, arch, exhale, 
Rock. Okay. Now, take your hands in this direction. Okay. Your finger is pointing towards you. Okay. Now raise your leg and push yourself forward and backward. You can bend your knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Lovely, guys. Shake your wrist. Okay. Now, let's start with the first primal movement. Okay. The first primal movement is walk. And as you walk, you're going to make a sound. Okay. So this is how you're going to walk. Legs slightly wide apart. Okay. I'll show you from this angle. Legs slightly wide apart. Right hand in the front. Left hand. And you're going to walk. Okay, and as you walk, you make the sound. little more slowly you see here my right leg is back my left leg is slightly crossed and I go from here and do okay from here I go here I can go back Okay, let's do one more time. Lovely, these are very simple movements. Take your hand, shake your legs. Okay, just grab a sip of water. Now, what we are going to do is what we call as loaded beast. Okay, so first I'll show you from this side and then I'll show you from this angle. Now, loaded beast means here. Again, you're on all fours. Okay. Now you raise your knee above the mat. This is the first step of loaded knee. Loaded beast. Okay. And then you slowly raise your right hand and left leg. One. Two. Now try, do not try to bend your body. Okay. Just lift your right hand and left leg. Left hand. And right leg. Yes. You got it. Okay. Ready? Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, ha, 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 Raise, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, and down. Relax, shake your hands. You see, it's such a nice, simple movement, but really brings in a lot of energy within your body. And when you make sounds with it, you really feel nice. Okay. So now, we are going to go to the next level. Okay. Now what we are going to do is to add a movement to this beast. 
Okay, I'm going to add a moment to this beast and see what this beast can do. Okay, so first let's keep this rock ourselves. One, two, three, four knees up on the ground. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And now we are going to walk. Okay, move your Yes. Again, it's just simple movements. Again, you're just moving. And as you move, you can make that sound. Always make sure it's your opposite hand and opposite leg that is in the air. Forward and backward. Get your breath back. Shake your hands. This is a beast. Lovely guys. Okay. So now I'll teach you another one that is called as a tripod squat. Very interesting. I'll show you from this angle. Okay. A tripod squat is where you put your hand down, sit, and you squat. Okay. Again. Raise your hand, take your left, go all the way, come up, put your left hand, squat, okay, and raise your hand and leg. This is called as a tripod squat, okay. These are all movement. Enjoy these movements, guys. It's really fun to move your body. You'll not know how much of mobility and flexibility you have until you keep, don't keep moving yourself. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this tripod squat. Very interesting squat which I learned recently. I really enjoyed it because it brings in that primal movement, you know. So as we squat, we turn and we do go. Come back. Go down. Go. Okay. So we're going to make that sound ho when we are successful in our squat. Okay. Ready? Let's do 10 reps each side and then we will switch over. Ready? Let's start in 3, 2, 1. Right hand on the mat. Take your right leg. Go towards your right, left. Raise your right hand and your right leg and go. Come back. Place your right hand on the yoga mat. Take your right leg back. Come back to the Squat position, so standing position. Take your right hand, take your left leg out straight, come back and raise your right, raise your hand and leg together and go. Again, come back, take your left leg, push it back, come back, stand straight. Okay, you can keep your legs bent, that's fine, completely fine. Take your right hand, right hand down. Raise your left hand, left leg, go all the way, sit, squat, raise your leg, raise your hand, Ho. Oh. got it, left hand, go all the way, right leg, sit, Ho. Oh. okay, so these movements, they actually bring in a lot of mind-body coordination, and when you improve on your mind-body coordination, your form improves in your running, cycling and swimming. Okay, you are able to coordinate. So these are muscle movements, memory movements, which are going to help you become a better athlete. Okay, so focus on trying to get this movement right. I'm going to increase the pace slightly. Okay, if you feel it's too fast for you, do it slowly, but make sure you make that sound ho once you're successful. So let's do this. Ho! Oh! 
Come on, relax, animal. Relax. Grab a sip of water. How did you like this movement? Very interesting, right? You could feel the energy. These are animal instincts, animal movements. Really good. Okay. Now, we are going to do the same thing, but we are going to hold on for 30 seconds. Okay. So, this is going to be going to turn it into a core workout. Got it? So, let's do the core workout now. Okay. Ready? In 3, 2, 1. Go. Ho! Oh, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Come back. Up, left hand down, take your left leg, come back, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, come back, straight, let's do one more round, right hand down, left hand, go, raise up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Come back. Guys, you should say ho. I forgot to say ho. Ready? Left leg. Ho. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh! Wow! Jog for a few seconds. Grab a sip of water. I am sweating. You can see I am sweating like anything just doing these movements. And right here, it's quite humid, I must tell you. But, hey, I'm enjoying my workout. Okay, now we're going to do something that we call as a bear squat. Okay, have you seen a bear squat? Okay, we'll go to make a sound of a bear also when we do that. What sound does a bear make? Have you seen a bear roar? Uh, uh, he groans. Okay, so we are going to do a groaning. Now a bear squat looks quite simple, but it's a very effective workout. Okay, it works on a lot of things, right from your core to your hands to your legs. And it's a great workout for people, specifically triathletes, who want to have on the, stay longer on the aero bars. Okay. So here I stand, okay, this is the position I am in, okay, my legs are bent, I go down and push all the way up, so this is a bear squat, here again, the palm of my feet will touch the yoga mat, ready, so here we are going to do one,
This is a bear squat, okay? This is how bear squat. I just love this. Great exercise. Builds in a lot of shoulder strength, leg coordination, core activation. Great for triathletes who want to develop a strong core and want to maintain their aerobar position for a longer time. Okay, let me get a breather. Jog for a few seconds. It's okay. Take it easy. Master these movements and you can keep doing these movements at any point of time. You want to get out the animal instincts in you, do these movements. Okay? So, that's why I said we are going to do things that we have never done before. At least stuff that I have never done before. So, these are primal movements. Okay? Let's start again. Bear squat. Please send your videos. I would, would love to see them. Ready? In 3, 2, 1. Bend all the way. My throat is also going to get here. I think I got straight in my. So that way you will be able to see me. Just keep jogging. Okay. Now, we'll come back to this again. But now, I just try to do a different movement here. Okay, from this position, right from here, I'm going to take my right left hand out, turn around, and take my right leg straight here. Okay, and this is going to be my hand position. Okay, and I'm going to do ah, come back, raise my right hand, take my left hand, left leg, push it over. Ah, Okay, this is a very simple movement. You can raise your height, take over. You can rest your right leg for now and make that sound. Ah. Okay, this is the loaded beast. Ah. Okay, so we're going to do this. Are we ready? Make sure that your form is right. And then later on, we're going to change it into a slightly different one. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. Let's do this. On all fours, knees bent. It's okay. Knees should be bent. Raise your right, left hand. Take your right leg. Turn around. Come back. Raise your right hand. Turn around. Take your left leg in front, ah, towards your right. Come back, raise your left hand, take your right leg towards your left. Ah, 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 ah. Slow, it's okay, don't be fast. Ah. Ah. ah you can sit also if you want to ah. 
guys jog relax yourself let me talk straight forward get your breath back take a hand take a leg so if you see these movements they work on overall right from your arms your forearms your wrist your core as well as your legs. This is a great movement. Okay, let's grab a sip of water again before we move on. So you're going to add a slight variation to this. This time, we're not going to rest our leg on the ground as well as make sure our glutes are not on the ground. Okay, it's going to be completely in the air. Those who can do it, do it. Those who feel the first one is easier for them, stick to the first one. What is important is form and enjoyment. Enjoy these moments. Okay, are we ready? Let's start. I'm sure you've not done these movements before. Ready? Three, two, one. Please, your left hand, take your right leg. Ah. Put your right leg in the air now. Ah. Yes, this is a fully loaded beast. Ah. 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 Open your mouth wide open. Ah. 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 Sounds great, those energy. Ah. That aggression, ah, that animal instinct in you, get it out. Ah. 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 Jog, jog, jog. So, I've taught you so many primal movements, right? Right from crawling to walking to bear squat to fully loaded beast. Okay, now we are going to bring a small change. Okay, same position. But this time, we're going to turn around. And push ourselves back, kick, kick, turn around, push ourselves down, kick, kick, turn around, the other side, push ourselves back, kick, kick. So we are just going to rotate ourselves round and round and round. Okay? Again, these are moments that will really help you coordinate your mind, body, and strength along with it, okay? It's just a matter of coordinating yourself, okay? So let's start it. And of course, you can add sounds to it. Whatever sound comes to your mind, okay? We can do that. Ready? Let's do this. Oh! Ha! Ha! Oh! Ha! 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 Oh! 
Relax yourself, come back and sit. Now we are going to do another moment from here. Okay. We are going to do the reverse squat. Now how we are going to do the reverse squat? Guess you must have guessed it. Ready? Here you go and push yourself back. One, two, three. Now you can change it to one leg. If you are able to do with one leg, do it with one leg. If you are not able to do with one leg, do it with both the legs. Ready? Let's start. Let's do first 10 with both the legs. And then 10 with single leg. Ready? In 3, 2, 1, go. Push yourself back. 1, 2, 3. Your glutes are as close to the yoga mat as possible. 3, Four, five, six, seven. Try to make your knees straight. Nine and ten. Relax. Shake your hands. I know it's very tough on your wrist, but this is really going to improve your wrist strength. Most of our balancing is on our wrist. Okay, ready? Now, single leg. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 30, 40, take a leg a little away, 19, and the last one, 20, relax, shake your wrist, relax your wrist, get up, and jog. Keep jogging. something that we call as kneeling squats. So this is just a warm up for the next primal movement. Again we kneel down in this position, come back, kneel up. This is called as a kneeling squat. Okay and in kneeling squat what you are going to do is try to push yourself forward and Raise the hand straight. Ready? Come back. Push your leg and push yourself forward. Okay? This is a kneeling squat. I'm sure you have not done this before. Ready? So kneeling squat. In three, two, one. Let's do this. Right leg, right hand, push forward. Left leg, left hand, push forward. Right leg, right hand, push forward. Left hand, left leg, push forward. Right hand, left leg, push forward. Left hand, left leg, push forward. These are really good movements. Are you feeling that energy? Yes, the beast in you is waking up. Now you could add a slight variation to this. Okay, you can move to the side and do this. This is again kneeling squats. Got my point? Here. One. Two. Three. 
four, five, six, seven. You can raise your hand, opposite hand. Eight, nine, ten. Let's get up and jog. How do you find the leading squat? Jog, jog, jog. So you can imagine how many movements have you done today. Really good movements. Really enjoyed it. I personally enjoyed these movements. Now we're going to bring in another twist to this. Okay. We're going to bring in another twist. Now we're going to walk. Okay. The beast walk. How does the beast walk? Okay, good. You're going to kneel down and walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is how a beast walks. You come from here straight forward. Try to put your knee, opposite knee down and walk. Okay, and make that noise. And then you can add variations to this. You ready? In three, two, one. Let's do this. Go low as low as it. And then you can move back. Come on. If you need to hydrate yourself, grab a sip of water. We've done 50 seconds, 50 minutes of awesome primal movements. Okay, now we're going to move from side to side. <clears throat> Squat, okay. Then move yourself back. Job, job, job. This is a very tough movement. Okay, so we're going to add one more variation to this movement. Okay, we are going to jump and then do the walk. Okay. This is the second, a very strange one. Those who are not able to do it, I would suggest them to do it very slowly, one leg at a time. Just turn your legs slowly and do it. Okay? Those who can do it with me, it would be better if we can add a little bit of hop to it. Okay? So let's start. Again, come back to the squat position. One, two, Three, walk, walk, walk. One, two, three, walk, walk, walk. Okay, ready? Let's do this once more. One, two, three, walk, walk, walk. 
One, two, three. Walk, walk, walk. Ready? Let's do one more time. Squat, down. One, two, three. Walk, walk, walk. Back, one, two, three. Walk, walk, and walk. Ah. Oh. Jog. Jog for a few seconds. Hope you are enjoying it. All the way from Tel Shiri, from the jungles of Tel Shiri. Okay, bringing you primal movements, animal instincts. Okay, so we're going to do the last one, the last of the movement. Okay, and then we're going to do a little bit of pull down. Okay, just relax our muscles. Keep hydrating. Get the beast in you. Hydrate yourself. Okay, so now I'm going to show it to you from this angle. Now this is again a loaded beast, but from the front view, I'm going to show you. So here, again I'm on all fours. Okay, and I take my right leg in the front, right leg back, and I make that sound. Ha! Ah. Come back, left leg, left hand. Ha! Ah. Okay. Very simple. You can do this. You want to be sure to from this angle. Okay, here. On all fours. Take your right leg forward. Take your right leg back. And ah. Again, come back. Left leg forward. Left hand back. Ah. So this is a good stretch you're going to get. Okay? And make that sound of the beast. You are a loaded beast. Okay, ready? In three, let me show it you from this angle. In three, two, one. Ah! 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 Keep jogging, keep jogging. I have literally bathed in sweat. Okay. Now since we are running short of time, I will surely go to show you the next version of the loaded beast. Okay. From this angle. It's slightly tough, but very much doable okay so here <clears throat> just watch me do this again i'm in the loaded beast position i take my right hand come here and do ah and now i'm going to take my left leg and bring it in the front and take it back got my point okay you want to try this again i'll show you my left leg comes in the front, my right leg goes straight, you can put it down or raise it up and hand is there, come back and come back to the beast, okay, great movement, great energy, make any sound you want, it's up to you, get out the beast in you, okay, let's do this final movement before we cool down. Okay, and please give me your comments. How do you like these movements? And if you have done these before. Okay, and if you can send me the videos, I'll be very happy to see them. So, let's do the final round 
of the beast with the forward kick. Are we ready? Come on, the beast. Load yourself. Right hand. Right hand up. Right hand forward. Ah. And ah. Come back. Come back. Take your left hand. Left leg forward. Right leg. Right in the middle. Ah. Come back. Come back. Ready? Right hand. Right leg. Left hand. Push. Ah. Come back. Do not touch your feet on the yoga mat. Come back. Come back. Left hand. Left leg. Ah. Ah. Come back. Ready? So let's do this. I hope you got this movement. In three, two, one. One. Ah. Ooh. Ah. enjoyed this thoroughly. I'm really feeling energetic. The animal in me has woken up. I hope you all too are feeling quite strong and energetic. These movements add a lot of flavor, a lot of strength in your mobility and flexibility also. So I hope you enjoyed it. Just relax your shoulders. Just do those hugs. Just a couple of minutes more. We're just going to try to cool our body as much as we can. Since we did these movements, we definitely need to cool our body. Shake your hands, shake your legs. Just do some few arm circles. Just relax your shoulder muscles. And now we are going to relax ourselves. Oh, we got a snail out here, right in my yoga mat. Don't know what, what you see you get here. Okay, lie down, stretch your hands straight. Lovely. Push yourself forward. Stretch your back. You can raise your knee above the ground if you wish to. Push yourself back. <sighs> wow. Feels great. Stretch your shoulder muscles. Just do one more, stretch yourself, look up, thank the universe, thank mother nature, raise your knees up, feel strong, feel energetic. Be one with nature guys, respect and love all animals around you. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed doing this. Oops. And if you have any feedback for me, please do send it to me. I would also love to see your videos.
Take care. Enjoy. Stay strong. Love and respect everyone around you. God bless you. Keep smiling.